Hello everyone and welcome to race number 22 of our 200 subscribers special season here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the Brickyard 400. Alex Bowman and Ryan Blaine start in the front row as we are underway here in Michigan. I'm mean, sorry, at Indianapolis. Bowman and Blaney side by side for the lead. Bowman takes a current advantage as we look for the field. Your boy is back in the race once again here at number 28 Detroit Lions for Mustang for our second career start here in the Cup Series. We have already hauled the mail on the start and found ourselves up fighting for a spot in the top 20 here with the 14 to Chase Briscoe. Go, or maybe just outside the top 20, but we're trying to fight hard. Oh, we door check Briscoe. We send Briscoe going sideways all the way through the grass. The 14 is mowing the grass here. Then we go into the corner. Racing guys from Then we look up here with Byron, Austin, Sindrick out of the corner. They're going to make some contact and around goes Sindrick. Kislowski's in the wall and they're crashing the big one underway here at Indianapolis. Kislowski hard in the wall. Kyle Busch, Sindrick, Larson, big hits. That up ahead. Oh, we're crashing into the cluster. There goes Logano, Byron, Truex, Almendinger, Jones, Burton, Balicki. So the big one, the huge one. Almendinger's upside down. The huge one strikes at Indianapolis on lap one. <laughs> Or lap two here, just absolute chaos as the field just erupts in front of us. We pile in, but we manage to stay in the race with not terribly uh, speed debilitating damage. But it all started with Cinder and Kozlowski, then Byron Truex went down the track, and Joey Logano turned. The, he got hit by the 19th and the 24th. They crashed with the right, and we punted Cole Custer hard in the 22. They went on the track. That sends him into the 16, 43, and 17. The 16 gets launched up and over by the 77. Big hits. The 3 is damaged. The 21 big hit. The 7 piles in. Just a huge, humongous accident here to start this race. You see right there, Cinder, him and Kozlowski go up under the wall. They hit Kyle Larson. They spin up the racetrack. And nowhere for Kyle Busch who gets landed on. He gets destroyed. Then Byron Truex try to merge back on the racetrack. And Truex just clips the gown. Sending them and William Byron going around. And then you see Custer get absolutely launched into the side of the gown by me. We hit the side of the gown. But we somehow avoid getting absolutely destroyed as we send him down the track. And then you see the 16 get launched upside down right here by the 77 of Balicki. And just a huge, just one of the biggest wrecks here in Indianapolis history. The massive one here. The huge one strikes again. This one is going to take out pretty much almost half the field. Because of just the magnitude of the hits and the amount of cars. I'll just see my POV. I see him wrecking back there. So I go low to try to avoid the top cars. Then I try to go on the high D. Make a pass on Cole Custer. But I bump him right into Joy Legal. We get into there. We get damage. We just hit the 77 a little bit. But we somehow make it through without terribly amount of damage. I think we hit the 77 a little bit. Send the 16 up over Custer got in the air. Then there's 15 Joey Hand. We just further cripple him. Slamming him in the inside wall. Ending his day. And we cross the line here. Just barely alive. Here at Indianapolis, as now we move on to lap six back on the restart. We are racing, trying to go by Daniel Kivia. Austin Dillon, we make contact and around we go. We spin into Austin Dillon into the outside wall. Hard caution is out. Austin Dillon will be knocked down on the race from the hit he just took into the outside wall as we just drove it in too deep into that corner trying to get by Kivia and Austin Dillon, and we end up crashing in the process. So here we are. This was right on the restart. Right off the bat. We try to make passes on these guys. We came to pit road. So we were at the back. So we sent it. Here's slow-mo replay. Three wide. We door check Kivia. And the car just gets loose on the apron on me. And I lose complete control. And right up into the three. Slam him. And at this point, I'm just trying to keep going the right direction without getting slammed. And a pretty hard hit in the outside wall for the threes. And then we get the full speed replay. So we just dive in there. We just lose it. And up into Austin Dillon. who takes a hard hit in the outside wall. And that will knock him out of the race. Now... We move on to lap number 14. Back at it again here. Or lap 13 here on the reset. Then we get in the back of Justin Haley. And then we go spinning. But we avoid hitting the wall or anybody. Very lucky to do so. Just a single car spin. Now we move on to lap 18 on the restart. We are back underway. And Blaney just moves us out of the way. As At this point we have old tires. And we are trying to hang on for every position possible. But we are just... We just don't have the speed. We're damaged. You have old tires. We're bouncing off the wall over the place. And now we're just trying to hang on here in front of uh, Josh Williams, Cody Ware, and Todd Gilliland. So right now we're just trying to get a caution so we can come down pit road to get some new fresh tires on to try to get our speed back that we had earlier to try to get some positions. But we are really struggling here as we've lost all grip on the car. And we're just getting tight and going all the way up the racetrack almost into the wall. So, whoa, whoa, and the caution has come out here. We have actually had an incident out of turn four. 
It is Ty Gibbs, Kevin Harvick, Chase Elliott, and it looks like Truex have gone into an incident. So see here, Ty Gibbs is in the apron. He just gets hit by Truex North. Harvick to go hard in the outside wall for most of them. And then here comes Cody Ware. Just slams Ty Gibbs. A huge hit. Gilland gets hit as well. Chase Elliott collected just a huge crash here, Andy, right there. As Cody Ware just absolutely arca breaks it, slams the 9 and the 23. That's going to knock out Ty Gibbs, Martin Truex, Cody Ware, and Kevin Harvick from the race. And I believe Chase Elliott as well from this huge pileup. I mean, huge hits for the 19 and the 4 and the 23 and the 51. As see, we barely avoid it right there on the bottom. We go sideways trying to avoid that thing. And then Cody Ware absolutely arca breaks it and takes himself out of the race, ruining his chance at a top 20 finish. So one, I'm going to caution once again here in Indianapolis for Ty Gibbs being turned and a big one at number two. Let me see ourselves here. We make it through. Now we move on to lap 26. And oh, Cindric and Chris Busher are crashing into the outside wall. The two and the 17 have crashed here on the restart, bringing out the caution once more. Just a two car incident here. The 17, the 2, we get by it, luckily, without any damage. Then we move on to lap 31 here. 10 laps to go at Indianapolis. We are back in 19th with 20 cars left in the race. Kvyat is 20th lap down, and we're just trying to bring it home here, get the best finish we possibly can. Now we're going to the back stretch. We're going to give the 17 Chris Busher a big shot on our fresh tires. Oh, we hook him around. Goes the 17. Busher goes spinning. That's the caution. There goes the 17 into the inside wall, but that will bring out a caution. And now we're going to try to get by the 70 to Josh Williams and try to get as many spots as possible here. So we drive by the 70 to Williams, get that position. Now, and look behind us, the two of Cindric has huge pace and just flies right in. Now we're going to be blocking Cindric, trying to race back to the line so we have a shot on this final restart. And now out of the turn four, Cindric gets a big run, so we go to block, really hard blocking. And there we go, crashing into the inside wall, and we're going to spin up the racetrack right in the path of Kivyat, and bang! We get launched upside down in a huge crash down the front stretch. That's going to knock us out of the race completely here at Indy. Our reign of terror is over, as well as Kivyat's, as well as we knock out Gillen from the race and Austin Cindric in a huge pileup. I think Cindric might still be in the race, but the rest of us are completely So I was just trying to door Cindric uh, into the pit opening right there. Trying to just hold them off from passing us. And we ended up spinning ourselves in the inside wall. And then we lose control. And we slide back up the racetrack. And I knew what was going to happen. We just lined up a boom. A home run hit there from Daniel Kivia right to T-Bones us. And then we get hit by Gillen as well. That kills our engine. We flip upside down back on all fours. And we are completely out of the race. So, of course, we will not bring home a second top 10 in a row. We will bring home a top 20, though. I believe we'll finish 19th as we get absolutely destroyed right there in this huge crash. So, we'll Kivy out, we'll be out in 20th. We will be 19th. I believe Todd Gilland will be out at 18th. So, we'll bring home a 19th place finish in our second start after a huge pileup. After getting absolutely drilled by Kivy out, takes us out of contention and out of the race completely. Now we move on to two to go in this race. Your race leader is the eight of Tyler Reddickling for his third win of the season as he's already won at North Wilkesboro Speedway and at the Iowa Speedway and now looking to win here at Indianapolis to get his third win of the year and really put himself up there in the championship conversation. As Eric Almarola and Denny Hamlin fight for second behind him and Christopher Bell runs fourth, Tyler Reddick will take the white flag final lap by Credit One Bank here in Indianapolis leading the way looking for his third win of the year. Denny Hamlin is now clear for second and trying to chase down the eight with all the speed he has left in that number 11. Hamlin still below the playoff cut line pretty much in a must win not yet but he might be soon so he's trying to get every opportunity he can but he might get another runner up finish as Tyler Reddick holds off Hamlin here coming down the back straight away for the final time. Tyler Reddick leads, Hamlin is second as they go into three and turn three now for the final time. <clears throat> Tyler Reddick goes through in the lead safely, but Denny Hamlin has gained a tremendous amount of time, but Reddick still holding him off here. One more corner to go in the Brickyard 400. Tyler Reddick makes his way through turn four for the final time. Denny Hamlin's just going to run about a lap or two short out of time. And Tyler Reddick will come down the straightaway, and Tyler Reddick will win the Brickyard 400 at Indianapolis as Tyler Reddick wins. Third win of the year, Hamlin second, Bell, Almirola, Bowman in the top five, then Stenhouse, Suarez, Briscoe, McDowell, Blaine in the top ten. As Tyler Reddick wins the Brickyard 400 here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, gets his third win of the season. 
and really establishes himself as a championship contender. Now you see the race results on the left side of your screen. Of course, only 17 cars finishing. Myself, DNFing in 19th. Now you view the standings where you see Reddick slots up to third now with his third win on the season. Cindric is currently first with the points lead and his two wins. And right now still two spots available on points in the playoffs occupied by Bowman, plus who's 25 points above the cut line, and Chastain, who's four points above Daniel Suarez of the playoff cut line. Chris Busher is 17 points below the cut line. Logano is 39 points out, and Brad Keselowski is 47 points below the cut line. So until the next episode, where we will have racing from track I forgot what it was uh, from Watkins Glen I hope you all have a good one